What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to start a farm. And yes, I'm recording this in my room. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a house with at least three acres. Anything over that, that's amazing for you. Because three acres is basically the bare minimum to start, like, gardens and stuff like that. You know what, now that you're done with that, now it's time to begin the actual stuff, the actual phase here. So let's begin that actual phase here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need to plan out what you do. So like you move there, like you don't, you shouldn't really be expecting to jump right into like gardening. Like like if you have like a giant garden you're thinking of planting, obviously you need to build something for that, but like you, you literally just can't do it. Like you can't expect like the second you step out of your car with all your stuff, this, all your stuff and supplies in it, you can't just expect to, like, go right to your backyard and begin gardening or have the chickens delivered right that instantly. Like, it doesn't work that way. You're actually going to need to spend at least four or six weeks. Four to eight weeks is my big recommendation researching before you begin this sort of stuff because it's going to need a lot of prior knowledge. Now that you're done gathering the knowledge, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need arti ar architecture ahead of time. Architecture is going to be that one big thing that, like, you're going to be needing ahead of time. So, first you need to plot out what you're going to be using this architecture for. Whether you're going to be building a bar, maybe to store like hay if you're going to do horses, or maybe you're going to be building, I don't know, like a giant chicken coop because you're going to have 50 some odd chickens. Or you're going to be building, building like a giant goose house because you're going to have 155 geese in your backyard, you know? You should really be planning out what you're going to be having so that way you can build the architecture. And if you're not going to build it that instant, you want to build it over the course of a while, then my best bet for you, my best recommendation, is to honestly just, like, what's it called, um, best recommendation, plan the whole thing out at once, so that way, like, everything's right there, so we can just, and keep this in a really safe area, so that way, like, not on, like, your office desk, so that way, if you're, like, drinking something, you don't just spill it everywhere, like, sorry, but you can't just, like, be spilling things everywhere, like, this is actually important stuff. Now that you got your stuff ready, now it's time to think about, like, what are you going to do first out of all this stuff? Are you going to build your barn? Are you going to get chickens? Are you going to get ducks? Are you going to get your livestock? Are you going to get gardening? A few things I'd recommend you beginning with are chickens and gardening. Those are really easy things. They're not all that hard to learn, actually, and that's what this channel is about. But I'm not going to interrupt you for too long for that. What you always need to make sure that you're doing is that you're raising them the right way. So you need to make sure that, like, you're checking out, like, the internet, so that way you can get some good tips and tricks as you scroll along your feed and, like, maybe even watch a few, like, farm YouTube channels that have some experience, that way, like, they can, like, give you a little bit of teaching and prophecy about this sort of stuff. So, getting what you're gonna get, and then not, like, like, booking it out of there, just, like, making sure, like, you're getting what you need to be getting done, so that way you can start a farm and create a base of knowledge about what you're gonna be getting. Now it's time to look back and reflect on what you're doing, and sorry, like, Piper's really barking out loud in the background. So, what you really need to do is you're really gonna need to reflect on, like, how you're doing stuff, and, like, <clears throat> if you're gonna be, like, doing more stuff in the future. Like, now is the time to reflect on it. Like, you know, like, after a month of having different livestock, you can go on, like, your computer, you can create a template. You know, once my website comes out, I'll be able to show you, like, a template that you can download so you can reflect every month for the first year, and I'll even have more templates once that website does come out. You just need to subscribe. I'll release it at 200. So what you really need to make sure you're doing is, like, making sure, like, you have that base of knowledge that you really need as well. Just honestly gonna need that sort of stuff because like reflecting so that way you can look back at your stuff, you know what you're doing wrong, so that way in the future we can just get a good glimpse of nostalgia, so that way we can just like know what we're doing wrong, you know like, what we were screwing up back in I don't know, 2014. Like what were we screwing up back then? Sorry, my dog just burst right into my room, but like just know what you're doing, so that way you can like reflect and then you can also compare it, just don't don't compare it like really harshly, just lightly compare it to other lists that other people have created and yeah you really need to make sure that you're like comparing it not like in a really judgmental way but like comparing it so you know what you're doing wrong and what to correct yourself and how to do it too now that you've done all that now all you need to do is repeat it these steps so you need to be repeating these steps that way you can basically get a good glimpse of knowledge about how you're going to be running your farm so that way you can get a glimpse of like what you're doing and when you're going to introduce new things, I highly recommend like a month or two in advance. You always be looking at like your plans, like what you're going to be doing, and also like watching some tips and tricks, and just surfing the Wi-Fi to see if you can like. Did I just say surfing the? Wi oh my God! 
surfing the internet so that way you can find stuff. I mean, like, seriously. The internet actually has some pretty nice information that you can find out there. So, a really good tip is to always, like, look at, like, the first results and really, like, a few articles. Like, don't just skip through the article. Just read the whole entire damn thing. It's not actually that hard. So what you need to be doing is you need to be reading the whole thing. And, yeah, don't slack off. Don't be a moron and just read the whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's like, the exact opposite of me. I'm a moron that literally does not know how to read, like, that much. I have 92 in language arts. I really need to improve my grades. But anyways, yeah, that was it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I'm thinking of doing more like this. I'm filming on my camera. I'm getting my audio card and my computer replaced right now so I can attach a microphone to it. The exact microphone that's attached to my... JK, I don't actually have a microphone on my camera, but, like, once I do get that, once I do find my microphone I got for Christmas, I'll be able to attach it to my computer so that way I can record some pretty nice bangers and that way I don't actually have to waste that much time like recording a video and then just putting some overlay footage on it. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. So that way, yeah, boost my self-esteem. Let's end this video. Now. Take my eyes open to force reality